normally on days like today where I'm so sick, I wouldn't even bother getting ready. But I've been sick for almost three weeks now and I haven't been getting ready or anything at all. So I thought maybe it would help me to feel more human if I went ahead and did my hair and makeup. So I thought I would show you guys how different I look when I'm all dolled up versus this. This is my hair still drying out of the shower. My mom found me these hot sticks. I've been asking for something like this. Uh, these are Conair hot sticks. I never use them. I have them heating up right now. I'm going to try them for the first time. Uh, she found them for me at a thrift store for like two bucks. So I'm going to try them and do my makeup and let's see how much different I look. No. <laughs> no. I realized about one minute into those rollers that I had no idea what I was doing. And then I realized about one minute into my makeup that I didn't really know. I was already blowing it off on my nose and just seems silly. So here's my one-fourth attempt of getting ready today. Yay! I feel so bad. Amelia's also a little bit sick. But, um, look at this job. Look at this job. I haven't closed her onesie back up yet. She's a little sick. Look at this Peter Griffin neck you've got. He's a beautiful. You beautiful. Um, I've been sick for like two and a half weeks and she's gotten sick two different days one day at the very beginning and then today she's been a little bit sick and I think that like all of my antibodies that I would use to fight off a cold like this are going into my breast milk to make sure she doesn't get sick but I'm not getting any better because of it so it's like uh just dragging on and on and on and on and on and on and I'm just so tired of <coughs> being sick and I would rather have a chest cold instead of a head cold because I hate having a head cold but we just got ready I know that we are eating roast and potatoes tonight it's in a crock pot um, so yeah I guess uh, I will um, maybe pick you up at dinner I don't know I don't think we're doing anything today because we're sick um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, can you say hello? Hello. There's not hello. Say hello. Amelia's three months old. Amelia's three months old. But uh, I think sometime this evening I'm going to discuss why I've been gone for almost two months, and I'm also going to discuss what my plans are for this channel. So if you are curious to hear why I'm gone, what my plans are, stick around. Hi guys, sorry this vlog has been all over the place. Um, I am so sick, like really, really sick, and it's just hard to, I'm sick, and even though I'm sick, and it's hard to sometimes think about vlogging when you're just sneezing and coughing, and I'm so glad that I'm at my parents' house right now because they're such a big help, because it's so hard, it's hard to do. I thought I would sit down real quick in front of my parents' fireplace, nice and warm, that I would sit down and explain to you guys why I've been missing for about a month. Thank you guys who are still here, who've been waiting for me and saying you miss me, and thank you guys for sticking around and saying subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. I promise that this is the start of us being back and active again. Um, last time I saw you guys was Halloween, and I was supposed to go back to work the weekend after Halloween. And we left my sister's house um, the day after Halloween or the day after that. And I knew that I was going back to work that weekend. And we were driving home. We had about a you know, two and a half, three hour drive home. And I just started crying and freaking out, thinking about going back to work and leaving Amelia. Um, I, didn't, I, I knew I could do it. Um, the whole time I had told myself that I knew I could. I had a good job. I mean, I had great coworkers. I had a really good boss. I was making good money, and it was a good job. And so I knew that I could go back. I knew that if I needed to go back, you know, if I needed to support my family, I knew I could. Um, but as we started driving home, and it was really sinking in that I had been with Amelia literally like every moment of her life up until this point, and then suddenly I was going to be gone for three 12-hour shifts three days in a row, like, it just freaked me out. 
and I was crying and Josh and I just started like brainstorming like what what can we do I just knew I couldn't do it um, what can we do and we thought about trying to move up to where my sister lives and my sister could give me a job doing what she does we thought I mean we thought about moving into the town where my parents live and him trying to get an old job he used to have and we just started brainstorming about what can we do how much money do we have to make to live in this apartment how much what do we have to do and I talked to my mom and I talked to my sisters and I said there's just two options hold on I'm gonna turn this down it's getting really warm I said you know there's two options I can either stay home Josh had already quit his job um, at that point because we just knew that the hours weren't gonna work out you know I don't want to pay someone just the same amount you know, a babysitter or a daycare to pay them the same amount that Josh would be gone. Like, paying someone to watch your kids just enough to make it, you know what I'm saying? We didn't want to do that. Um, and I made really good money, and I liked my job a lot more than Josh liked the job that he had. So I was keeping my job, and I told my parents, like, either I can stay at my job and stay at this apartment and struggle with knowing that I was leaving her or I could take the opportunity jump and you know try to find Josh a different job and us a different place to live or any kind of other situations and maybe struggle financially for a while but not struggle with leaving her and not feel like that you know never have to think that I'd left her and never have to warn her I knew I was probably gonna you know lose my milk supply I knew I probably wasn't gonna be able to continue breastfeeding try to pump during a 12-hour shift three days in a row probably wasn't going to work out. Um, and Josh was really good with Amelia, but he never watched her in long periods of time. So he would watch her for two or three hours while I would sleep. Another time I was there, and actually on Halloween day, Rachel and I, I didn't know I was going to be up at Rachel's house, so on Halloween day, Rachel and I and my sister went to look for... Um, a costume for me and for Amelia because we didn't have anything and we left Amelia with Josh at Rachel's house for the for first time really and we thought we were only going to be gone for like two hours but um, we ended up being gone for like four hours Amelia got the hiccups and she also woke up you know hungry and she just and Josh had to be there with her for four hours and when I got back he didn't say anything to me then. He said everything was fine and everything. But now that we have chosen this path and now that I'm staying home, he said he knew right then that he was not going to make it through that 12-hour shift. He was going to end up coming up to my work because she, you know, she is her mom. She is a mama's girl right now. That's all she knows is to be with me. And she doesn't like a pacifier. She has to be nursing, you know, for her to feel comforted. If she has the hiccups, if she has gas, I mean, that's what she likes to do. And so it would have just, it would have been really hard. Um, you know, we would have made through. After the first couple weekends, we would have made through. But we took a leap, and I'm so glad we did. You going to bed? Love you. My mom's going to bed. Um, we took a leap, and it's, it's turned out. I'm so glad that we did. I'm so glad that we decided that we could do this. And... I mean, I'm so lucky. Here I am. I get to stay home now full time. Josh has a job that he said he likes 500 times more than his old job. He works with his brother, but his brother didn't get him the job. He just, you know, he applied and he got the job with his brother. And he has to work with his brother. We're going to live in a town only one hour away from my parents now instead of four. We live two hours away from my sister instead of three. And I mean, we bought a house outright bought a house which the video after this is going to be the home tour that I filmed today and it's a great house I mean it's in our price range and it's great and we're going to be homeowners before I'm 25 years old that's amazing I mean a lot of people can't say that so I'm really lucky and this channel is going to change a little bit because we did leave the house you know like every day sorry I'm rubbing my nose um here's my tissue I'm so sick guys but you know, we did leave the house a lot more, and we did a lot more stuff, and I'm going to be living in a town now of, like, 1,100 people, and so I'm going to be home, and Josh is going to be at work all the time, so this channel is going to change. I'm not really sure exactly how. 
I don't know if I'll still do daily vlogs. I'm thinking I might do film each day, but it's only going to be interesting enough to maybe compact it all into one video for the week. And then I'm going to be able to, you know, I'm going to be cooking a lot more. I'm going to be staying home. We used to go out to eat like every day or walk over to Walmart and get something to put into the stove. I'm going to be cooking. So I'm going to do food hauls and meal planning and recipes. And then I'm also starting sensory play with Amelia. Um, sensory play if you guys are interested in anything like that or if you have a baby around my age you know around Amelia's age she's three months old now um, and gosh is she the biggest three month old ever she's almost 20 pounds and she's three months old she's such a big baby and she's so beautiful and I love her so much and I'm so excited that I get to stay home with her guys like I can't even express to you how excited I am and how I have blessed idea. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, and I had the best life ever. My mom was the best mom ever. If I'm a quarter of the mother that my mom was, I mean, literally, I'd be a great mom. So, it's awesome. I feel so blessed, and that Josh likes his job and wants to be at work. That's awesome, too. But, we're all, you know, we're going to be doing baby lead weaning um, starting January 1st. We're going to start baby lead weaning videos where I'm going to put a camera in front of Amelia and record her trying new foods. We're not doing any baby food. I'm going to give her real food. Um, I think that that would be really awesome to see. And I'm excited to have that playlist to look back on later. And I think Amelia would too. I would love to watch something like that now of myself. So I'm so excited for that. Um, if you guys are interested in baby led weaning at all. Um, I also, I'm going to have a whole house to decorate and paint and to redo. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to have thrift hauls. There's some really cool thrift stores around me. So I'll be posting thrift hauls and then a lot more crafty videos where I'm doing crafts because I get to stay home all the time with my baby and do stuff with my baby. <laughs> so um, I would like to say that I'm doing Vlogmas, but with how sick I am, I'm not going to promise that I can post, but I'm going to be posting a lot more in December. And then in January, we will start. I'm going to commit to five days a week but hopefully video seven days a week even if they're not vlogs might be sit down videos like this but I'm so excited to be back on YouTube I've missed you guys so much and thank you like I said for sticking around and for waiting for us it's been crazy I quit my job and we're moving and Amelia I'm literally a human pacifier like I was saying earlier she doesn't like a pacifier at all she has to be on the boob like all the time she has to fall asleep on the boob every nap, every sleep, every everything. We've tried every pacifier, we've tried sippy cup lids, we've tried fingers and toothbrushes and just anything and it's just, she's a boob girl. <laughs> <coughs> that was beautiful. But yeah, I'm sorry how I look. Sorry for everything, but I'm not really because you guys are like my family. I've been, for the last two days, I've been binge watching all the videos that I've missed out on um, from like, Andy and Tay and the neighbors and Robert's reality and watches live and stuff hasn't posted a video since I didn't post a video I was so excited to go watch a bunch of watches live and stuff is way bigger channel than the you know but I love their videos I love Andy and Kalal that's one of my favorite vloggers they're who inspired me to want to vlog so um my next video like I said will be the house tour of my empty house um but it's ours we got the keys it's our house I'm so excited and I'm so excited to be back on YouTube please you know stick around if this is your first video if you're watching me hit the subscribe button I promise I'm gonna be back here we're gonna do more lookbooks with Amelia Amelia is way more active now and way more aware of her surroundings and it's been a month you know so it's she's changed so much already she's asleep right now or I would show you her but she's asleep because she's sick we're all sick so once we get better that's gonna be great and we have a home and literally, my apartment could probably fit into one of our living rooms and one of the bedrooms. Yeah, we have two living rooms. One of them's going to be a playroom. But one of my living rooms and one bedroom would have been my entire apartment. Isn't that insane? And we're going to be moving into this big place. So I'm going to have lots of decor halls and halls about, you know, home to paint and painting. And I get to show you renovation and then home decor, do-it-yourself do it yourself projects. And I'm going to have a bunch of videos like that recipes, meal plans, Amazing Amelia, I think I'm going to do a playlist called Amazing Amelia, 
where I show you what she's doing week by week and what her favorite toys are and what she's into right now. And if you guys have any suggestions, what you guys would like to see us do, I'm going to try to talk Josh into doing, you know, at least a video a week. And he is excited for that and back on YouTube. Um, I'm also going to be joining a mail swapping site because I used to do that. Um, before we moved into our apartment, but I didn't trust my apartment mail, but now I have, you know, my own mailbox, so that's probably something I might show as well. I'm not sure yet, but I love swapping mail and pen pals and swapping packages from people from other countries. So, if you're interested in any of that and you're not already, please hit the subscribe button. If you've missed me at all, even this much, even a tiny, tiny bit, if you've missed me, please hit the like button or send me a comment, some well wishes, because I'm so excited to be back and I've missed you guys, and here's a big hug. Oh... Ignore my face. I'm so sick. But all right, guys, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. If you're doing Vlogmas, also, if you are doing Vlogmas, comment down below, and I'll watch every single one of your vlogs. I love Vlogmas. I love Christmas. Christmas is the best. I get to spend Christmas in my home with my Christmas tree. Amelia gets to wake up for her first Christmas. I know she doesn't know because she's a month old, but she gets to wake up for her first Christmas in our home. Yay, with her mom, who's not going to be at work. Oh, I'm so lucky. Okay, guys.